Now everybody on this channel knows that we're not really one for caging your animals, although short-term enclosures like this while you're waiting to transfer them over to new areas or new farms is acceptable. This particular enclosure is one that we really approve of, and it's our sister's quail enclosure. Now as you can see, they're very, very tiny. Don't mind the many, many chickens. They can, they can get out, by the way. There's there's a trap door down there. They're just all staying inside right now because uh, it's a little wet outside. Uh, but yeah, this right here is the full-size enclosure. As you can see, it's about the size of a small walk-in closet. Uh, and the reason for this is you you can't free-range quails. They're, uh, they're not... They're not really, like, tame like that. Although our sister somehow has done an amazing job of quailing it up over here. So, you know, we, we can get in. We wish we could get rid of that, but whatever. It might be for support. We don't know. And uh, they pretty much just run around and hang out. They lay their eggs just about anywhere. They're, they can fully fly. They, they can actually fly throughout this whole entire thing. Quails, quails fly, so you have to keep them enclosed. Or they, in the nature of being a mostly not domesticated animal will fly away and cause trouble and you will lose your quails very quickly, but they're super adorable. Uh, these ones are really tame. We don't know how she gets them that way. Uh, but yeah, they just lay their eggs just about anywhere and then you come and you pick them up once a day. Uh, as you can see, this is, you know, a couple dozen quail lengths long, so they can get up to a run, they can fly, they can leap. Earlier on when we were here, in here collecting eggs, one, uh, flew all the way up to our head, bounced around on the, uh, on the fencing and everything up here, and, you know, was just doing its fly game, her fly game for a while. We got one down here. There, as we said, we're really surprised at how our sister can make them so tame, uh, but they, we can just reach down and grab these ones, surprisingly. So, uh, yeah, if you like this and you like this little setup, it's not very complicated. Just do, try it for yourself. Uh, just make sure to have it raised off of the ground because she just had a flood uh, recently and it killed a bunch of her quails. So, uh, yeah, don't, don't let your quails get flooded. Anyway, thanks a bunch, everybody. Stay safe, stay inside, stay healthy, and remember to help each other. Also consider going on down to the description, hitting up our Linktree link, maybe pledging even just a dollar to Patreon to join the Mighty Mighty Ranks and make the microphone our number one patron of all time. And Tool Pans are our number one watcher of all time. Bye!